Ugh, smells like ferrets. I'm inside. Great job, Bert. Now we'll have 20 minutes to get the sim up and running before Naka gets his goons to show up. And if they do? Well? We'll deal. You aren't even here. I'll deal. I'm sorry, Bert. I had to negotiate the release of the Red Wing Pots with Sarah. What if they pull the plug on it while you're in there? Huh, they can't. They'd be in worse legal trouble than us, Bert. The CG says it's not cool to end a universe. Any universe. Even if it's only a fancy sim in a computer. That's the one? That's it. It looks like a bunt. Well, it's much more powerful than a bunt. Go flap your fingers around and make it do what I want. I'll try. You want to jump in on August 12th, 1995. 7.15 Central Daylight Time. Entry here. Right? That's what the floppy said. Floppy? Sarah found it. A five-inch one. I used to make these discs when I was a kid, filled with paintbrush art and middies and memorable shareware, and sometimes, at least in the case of this one, a letter to myself. Huh. Read me Hugo when you know the time is right. TXT. What did it say? Dear future Hugo, it's been a while, so don't judge this letter. You're probably reading it on a five bazillion megahertz computer or something similar. That's so cool! Anyway, I have a few questions for you. One, what's the future like? Are there flying cars flying around? Geodesic arcologies everywhere. If not, what gives, man? Those things are cool. Two, are you still friends with Jeff Burton and Ian? What are they up to? Is Ian still a jerk about the virtual boy? That dude is a jerk. Three, is time travel possible? With wormholes or something, light speed travel, the digestive tracts of transdimensional entities, magnets. Four, are there aliens yet? This is an important one, because there probably are aliens, right? Five, this question relates to question three. If time travel is possible and accessible to you, will you visit me? I'll be waiting at the water tower at 7.15 tonight. That's 7.15, August 12th, 1995. I bet we'll have a lot to talk about. I won't take it personally if you can't be there, of course, because, well. See ya, question mark, Hugo. So you met yourself. I remember it that way. So chances are we're stuck inside one of these things, too. Well, that's the way I've always sorted it out. I told myself about this, this thing. I can't say I remember much else of what I said, though. You gonna try to fix things in there? No. No. I can't say I haven't thought about it, but... The precedent's been set, Bert. I'm not one to break it. It's not my job. You're a goofy man, Hugo. But do what you need to do. The sim should be patched into your dot. If Naka and his goons show, I'll send you an orange flash. Orange? You'll know it when you see it. Keep your wits in your pocket. Hmm. Always late. There we go. Is that him? I look like a creeper. It's the binoculars. You heard me? No, but I remember what you're saying. You're late. I I'm sorry. I ran into Sarah. I know. I did that too. Come up here. This ladder's slippery? No. It looks slippery. You'll be fine. You'll live to be me. Dance. Hugo snuck out. He's a jerk and he snuck out. What? Where? Probably the water tower. He's been talking a lot about that lately. Oh, good God. Get in the station wagon. Kid, you look great. But where's your helmet? I don't wear helmets when it's this humid. Well, you'll learn to by tonight, I can tell you that much. How did you do this? Oh, God, how to explain. Well, you see, in the future, complete... It was wormholes, wasn't it? 
Uh, I knew it. No, no, Hugo, it was nothing like that. See, in the future, computers are incredibly sophisticated devices. So much so that they can simulate entire universes. And I broke into a pet store to do just that. Pet store? Well, useful pets. I have absolutely no idea what that means. Are you going to answer my question? Well, I'd love to, Hugo, but time's limited, and I have a few things I need to tell you first. Fine, fine, fine. Shoot. All right. First, I know she grounded you, Hugo, but Mom loves you. Unquantifiably, unconditionally, she would do anything for you. And all the stuff that you perceive as cloying or obnoxious, that's all out of that love. You came here to tell me that? That, the next thing in the helmet thing. What else do you have to say? I don't think... You should ever regret coming here tonight. Why? Because of the rain? No, but because pain that you're going to go through in the future might convince you otherwise. Might make this whole thing seem pointless, worthless. But it's not. Our universes are predicated upon this very event, Hugo, and to forget that... Well, it's negligent. You sound like a crazy person. Well, I'm a time traveler. It's kind of the precedent. That's my cue to skedaddle. Hugo! And yours, too. Don't lose track of that floppy. I won't. But wh wait, what about my question? Let time pass and look at the world around you. They'll answer themselves, man. Oh god, I'm sorry, Bert. Look what he's done to my waiter bears! They weren't supposed to know freedom. Glenn Naka himself? That's right. He got here early. He's a fast dude. I've lost 30 of these computers to you goddamn nostalgists! The energy bills are killing me, and my wife keeps nagging me about fixing her cracked pots. Red Wing pots? How do you know? Well, I just happen to have some of those lying around here, Mr. Naka. Don't get litigious, and they can be yours. We'll talk. Was it worth it? Well, I hope so. What's gonna happen in there now? Well, I suppose everything as it has and will. The crash. Don't do that again. Never. Never, never, never. Sarah, you snitch. Shut up, Hugo. I was terrified, Hugo. I bet he was doing pot. That's stupid, Sarah. You're stupid. I bet he was smoking it. Look at this weather, the lightning. That ladder must be so slippery. Ugh, I made pot, sure it pot, was dry. Pot. What, did you bring pot, a towel? Pot, 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 You're in pot, huge pot, trouble pot, when we get pot, home. Pot, pot, this is at pot, least pot, 50 pot, times pot, worse pot, than whatever pot, you did to pot, Ian's game pot, a virtual boy and had stupid spinning mirrors. Sarah, stop it. Ugh. Come on, come on, come on. Sarah. Sarah. Mom, make her stop. Sarah, What's the problem? No gas. We're out of gas. I'll bike to the easy shop. Where's the gas can? No, you aren't leaving this car. What? You could have died tonight. I'm not risking that again. I'll do it. I don't want to share a room with you anymore. Great. Me neither. And, and I, I hate your stupid Polly Pocket shit and your stupid Barbie Happy Meal toy shit. You always leave it all over the floor and the little jagged arms and legs hurt my feet. Well... Well, your feet are shit. That doesn't even make sense. They're shit, and I hope they hurt. Well, you are a shitty baby, and I hope you can't read the warnings about choking on little toy pieces and choke on your Polly Pockets. No, you don't. Because you're eating them. No! And then you choke and die. Mom! Hugo, don't antagonize your sister. I'll be back soon. Ah, how can I live with these kids? <laughs> This AstroTurf platform is awfully dingy. They must use it a lot here. Why do they even use these AstroTurf platforms? It's not like the edge of a grave is that hard to avoid. Maybe when people are really sad, they have a tendency to fall over. I mean... Ah, oh God, I don't know what to think, Mom. It's playing on loop in my head all the time. I, I, I try to make sense of it all, but... I keep getting the details wrong or something. It's like they don't add up to a meaning, no matter how I configure them. I think about what would happen if I hadn't gone to the water tower, and why my future self told me not to regret having gone there. Well, I regret it. And I'd hope he does too. 
I keep this floppy, maybe it'll all make sense the next time. Or when I'm older. I guess that's a precedent for behavior, right? But why relive this? What's gained on repeat viewings? Will I catch something new? Will I understand this all better? Well, I just managed to kill a little time on the way to entropy. I won't watch no reruns. <laughs>